Tori and I'm here with an unboxing video today. <clears throat> I did a, a yesterday a little shopping haul, I showed you what I the few little things I got from Hobby Lobby. But one of the most exciting things was I got Chuck Pinson's I think it's called it's called Space for Reflection. It cost $59.99 and I got $24 off with a 40% discount on their kits. So I paid $35.99 for this diamond painting yesterday. Um, I was really excited to do that. When I checked out, I had another box and I noticed as I was checking out, the end of the box looked like it had already been gotten into. And so I had her open it for me right there, and sure enough, there was stuff missing from it. So I'm really glad I paid attention and I did that. The, the old Corey would not have done that. The old Corey would have thought, oh, it'll be all right, and I would go home and then be mad at myself. But anyway, I'm glad I did that. So I got a complete kit, as far as I know, what we could look at just precursorily. And um, so this is, this is it, this is it, I'm so excited. This is a round diamond painting. I, you know, I didn't even care about that. I didn't even check that. This is a round because it has a round on it. And <clears throat> it's gonna be 55 by 74 centimeters when it's finished. If you saw my video on my setup for my lap, lap desk at my for my recliner I this I believe this will fit in that um, with a couple inches to spare that to go under my tray between the bottom bottom board and the top tray this will go fit through there and then I can use a foam core to roll it up as it comes out the top so <clears throat> I'm excited about that so we'll go ahead and get into it this is the canvas, and this is the stickers and the picture of it. Let's see if I can get that without it being so shiny for you to see it. Space for reflection. This has 44 colors in it. And I can cut these out and put those on my label to label my containers. Um, I probably use a Harbor Freight container for this because it's a little bit bigger container, uh, bigger diamond painting than I'm used to. Uh, I believe there are two special drills. Let me see, diamond shaped round. I don't know if it says on here. I think the one and the two here are, are special. It's color 132, 141. Let me see. There may not be any in this one. Let me see if it tells me. Uh, and there's also this in here. There's two Aurora Borealis, and I, it's been a long time since I've even gotten a diamond painting from Diamond Art Club, so I believe it's these two that are the Aurora Borealis. <coughs> this is a warranty and insurance card, and I believe this is a code where you can get a discount on your next diamond painting from Diamond Art Club. Um, I thought there was another smaller sticker. Let's see.
anyway, I think that's going to be a really pretty picture. Um, let's see what's in the kit. Uh, this is, gosh, I have, I've not gotten a new kit from them, and I don't know if the ones they have at Hobby Lobby are the newer kits that have all the goodies in it. It's looking like it's not. Looks like this is the old tool kit. Uh, we got some baggies here, not nearly enough. There is a four placer. The four placer that's thin. It's the very, that's my favorite placer. If I'm not single placing, I'm multi placing with my four placer. There's two plats of wax, heart shaped. There's a scrunchie and a clear bolt. A blue diamond painting pen. And that's that's it. So not a not a fancy diamond art kit. It's the older version. And I wonder if it's that way for all the ones at Hobby Lobby. I don't remember. I don't remember from watching the others. I don't remember at all. I'm really sad about my missing sticker because I know it was there yesterday when we pulled everything out. But let's get into this baby. We did not pull this apart. We just looked at the excess stuff that was in the kit. And I found it. I just found it. It was, it was over there. It fell out. So here's the little sticker. Yay, I'm glad. All kinds of happiness happen in here. This, oh, it's so soft. Here are the drills. Here are step-by-step -step instructions so you can learn how. I don't know why I can't talk when I'm filming, but I just, my words get all tangled up. Okay. Instructions of how to do it. And that's the code for getting a new diamond painting for 10% off. These are the drills. This is some basic palette. It's going to be on the dark side. There's purples and greens. There's a few bright colors in here. There's a orange bright color. There's some reds. But they're pretty much dark. Dark. I, I don't even know quite the word I'm looking for here to describe the colors. They're a bit, um, it's a darker palette. I, I will just leave it at that. There are some bright colors in there, however. Um, let's get the canvas. And I've got it upside down. And the canvas is imprinted very darkly, and it's really not, there, there was the box completely. Well, I'll get more of it in here than I thought I would. So here's the cabin that's by the lake. All these trees back here, the edges are, are scalloped serge, so that helps prevent the frame. Oh, look at this big expanse of lake. And it just goes on forever. So, this is the button. And it's, let me get it all in. I can see. The canvas is clear. These smaller or lighter colored ones will be difficult for me to see. It's, it looks like there's a white in there, a Y, two dots, and I'm completely off the camera. So fit this between the table. Let's see. This 
cemetery right here is what I'm talking about. They're very small with red writing, so that's going to be hard to read. Same color, but different symbols, and very, kind of very small. <sighs> that's a drawback of having old eyes. Down at the bottom of this canvas, it, ta it talks about the art piece, DAC, space for reflection. That's a 74 by 55 centimeters, and it's Chuck Pitson, Diamond Art Club. And at the top it says, do what makes you sparkle. Now, I don't know how hard it's going to be to find these. This is so nice, guys. You know, I think I can, now that I'm looking, have it laid down here, I can, I can read those red symbols a little bit better. I, I can tell what they are. But I, those will be the more difficult ones, I think. They have some gray tones over here with black up here at the top, or there's some down here, too. I'm kind of surprised. I, you know, maybe my eyes have changed since my last Diamond Art Club, but these colors really aren't as, the symbols aren't as definite. I wonder if they give the, give the ones who aren't, that aren't quite as first quality to give those to Diamond Art, to the Hobby Lobby. Now, I don't know. I'm just thinking out loud, guys. It's a bunch of nothing. <laughs> I'm just looking real quick to see how hard it will be to find those. I don't want to take these out because I know I'm not starting this soon. Let's see if I can find those AB drills. You guys, I don't know how to find them. I don't know where at the beginning, if they're just scattered throughout. I don't, I don't know. And you know what? This is blasphemy coming from my mouth right now. I like AB drills, don't get me wrong. But I'm not getting all Twitter painted over them. <laughs> they're a nice accent. And that's all they are. I just don't get it. I really don't. But <laughs> the blasphemous Corey has spoken. Um, anyway, so that's it. My Diamond Art Club by Chuck Pinson. It's a 55 by 70. Get that over here. 74 by 55. Space for reflection. <laughs> Thank you for joining me for the diamond painting effect. Uh, you guys all take care. So